Okay. Eric, obviously, um, you know, competitive match. Your, your thoughts overall on, on the match and, and the eventual result? I think it's a good result for us. Obviously, anytime you go on the road and get a point in MLS, it's good. I think our guys really were able to match the intensity, um, match the fight of a derby match. And I think that's, that's always really important. Obviously, middle of the day, dry surface, turf is always going to be tough to play really quality stuff. But I think the important thing is the fight, the determination, the will was there. And I think that's why we were able to get a point out of the game. And what was your feeling, just the atmosphere of the match? A lot of people there today. Yeah, it was yeah. amazing. Obviously, um, this is my second one against Seattle. The first one was at home. Amazing crowd here. Really good crowd again. And I think for us, we know how important these games are to the fans. They're really, really important to us. And I think, again, to be able to come on the road and get a point in a tough environment and tough conditions is is really a good sign of this group. Hey, Eric, you get uh, the start along the back line that um, I believe this was the first time in MLS history the Sounders and Timbers played a, a nil-nil game. Uh, just what did you think about the defense's performance today? Uh, I thought it was good, honestly. I think the important thing for us that we talked a lot about the last week is is trying to defend with all 11 guys, trying to figure out moments to press. I think last weekend we got a little buried by Kansas City on the road. We couldn't get out a lot, and I think today we did a little better job of, of finding moments to get out, finding moments to press. I thought all the guys in the back line played well. Honestly, I thought our whole team really put in a shift, and I think, again, in MLS, that's that's really important on the road. You can't have eight guys go. You can't have nine guys go. You have to have 11 guys who are all for it and ready, and especially in a derby match, you have to be ready, and, and everyone has to be able to work on both sides of the ball. It's been a tough run of form for the team past few games. Getting a point on the road is always good. Still not a win. Well, what what's the keys to kind of turning a performance like this into something more positive moving forward? I, I think you just got to build on the positives. I think clean sheets really important. Um, not conceding a ton of chances really important. I think I played on a lot of teams in MLS. I played a lot of places. Uh, if you can tie in the road and win at home, you're going to make the playoffs. And I think that's kind of the the foundation moving forward is go get results on the road, and then we have an amazing crowd at home, an amazing atmosphere, and try to get three points there as much as we can. You've been a, a major advocate at the start of Pride Month to, to those causes. Um, how important is that to you personally? Really important. You know, I've, I've done playing for Pride, I don't know how many years in a row now, but I just think um, it's really great to be in Portland where it's a very inclusive city. Um, everyone's welcome, and I think that's awesome. I've played in some cities and states where maybe that's not the case as much, so I think trying to be a role model for inclusivity is really important, and I think it's been awesome to get support financially from all our fans. Um, you know, just auctioning stuff off, trying to do whatever I can to help make professional sports and professional soccer a more inclusive environment is something I was wanting to try to do. Hey, man, thanks so much. Appreciate for sh appreciation for the LGBTQ community. We really appreciate that so much. Um, I'm actually here right now in the Timbers Army Warehouse painting TIFO. Uh, what can you do to make sure that you can get to help us paint TIFO tomorrow? Uh, you know what? My wife's out of town with our baby, so I got a lot of free time. So if you if you need me to stop by and put in a little bit of work, I'm happy to do it. This is probably the only time of the year where I uh, won't be on baby duty, so I can come by if I need. Yeah, let's go. We're we're happy to have you here, man. Come on by. Uh, I'll good. message you. All uh, right. And then uh, so derby game, you know, zero zero versus the Sounders. Um, we're we're undefeated with them since 2017. How does that? Even though we didn't get the three points, how does that make the team feel with the the, the drop? Uh, amazing. Honestly, I think what you said is, is huge. Not being, not having lost since 2017. Um, like I said, everyone in our group, everyone in our staff knows how important these games against Seattle are. You know, when I was playing PEL here back in the day, the games against the Sounders were a little bit more heated than the other ones. So I think everybody in and around the club knows how important it is. And I think our group, especially, we get out for these games. And I think if we can figure out a way to carry that intensity over to the other games, we, we can be in a really good spot. But obviously, we're, we're so happy for our group and so happy for the fans that, that we're able to get these good results. Eric, thank you so much. Appreciate it, and congratulations on the point. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go next to Paul Dancer. Here, just curious, when these points are rolled on, it really gets in. How does that change the, the game and the challenge for the back line? Yeah, you know, I think um, obviously the mentality of our back line, no matter who plays, I think we want to be the same. And I think our goal is always going to be to concede as few shots, chances as possible, and then Jazzy can kind of deal with whatever else comes. And I think, again, the last week we worked a lot on trying to build our press out in higher moments. I think we did a good job today. We won the ball back in some, some good areas, and I think we didn't go super long spells of possession, or didn't concede super long spells of possession, which was good. And I think we're, we're starting to improve in that, and, and MLS is a long season. We just have to keep progressing in the right direction, and, and hopefully we can do something special this year. And you mentioned the turf and the conditions. 
Talk a bit more about how that impacts the way a game is played when you're on a hot, dry field like that. Yeah, I think, honestly, um, turf that's dry is always going to be a little bumpier. There's going to be more tackles. The ball's going to be flying around uncontrolled a little bit more. Um, and especially even turf that night when it's wet, I think it plays a lot better, a lot smoother. Um, so I think for our guys, we kind of knew, again, that it wasn't going to be the prettiest game. It wasn't going to be champagne football the whole time. But guys were up to the fight, and I think that's, that's the really important thing to take away. Thanks. Thank you. We'll wrap it there, Eric. Safe uh, flight back. Thanks, Paloma.